Happy Tuesday, everyone. It is May 30th, 2023. My name is Kyle. This, of course, is Mrs. Olson, and this is Maker Notes. And today we're going to talk about Urchin. It is a top that's designed by Libby Johnson, and it is, ta-da, right here. It is knit, our sample is knit out of Pop Cycle, which is a wonderful yarn from Haiku that is 50% polyester from recycled bottles, which I think is super cool, and then 50% um, bamboo, which is wonderful. So it makes for a really beautiful drapey uh, fabric that is got just a little bit of sheen and made a wonderful project. So this uh, top, Libby did a wonderful job of um, creating a wide range of sizes. So there's one to fit everyone. There's 15 different sizes to choose from in this pattern. So it goes all the way from 37 and three quarter inch bust circumference all the way out to 65 and a half inch bust circumference. So you choose the size that works best for you and uh, you'll be able to cast on and get um, a wonderful summer top. So there are lots of different colors. This is uh, the color that we used. It is color 3011 Bubbly. And I just want you to kind of see the how fun this yarn is. It's got this little bit of a multicolor thing going on. Um, you can see little light bits in there as well. So this is Bubbly. Not all of them have this. This is called Lovely. Lovely is lovely. It's sort of a, it kind of looks like candy stripe if you get really close to it, but from farther away, it just sort of looks like a rosy pink color. It's a beautiful yellow. This is called Pop. Pop is a beautiful sunny yellow, and it doesn't really show that white quite as much, but it's there if you get really close and peek in at it. This is color 3020, Dazzle, a fun, light, limey color. This is perfect for a summery top, yeah? Then I have two more to show you. This one is 3010, Beaming. Beaming is a really beautiful sort of medium blue. There's that one. You can see that shine. Look how cool that is. And then the last one I have to show you here is the color of the year from 2021. So that is what this one is. It's 3013, which is different from, you know, it's a brighter sort of color. So you need at least three hanks of this yarn, depending on what size you want to make. There is a matrix that shows you how many hanks you need um, for each different size in the newsletter. There is one size that goes just a tiny bit more than three hanks. Um, so we made a note of that. If you want to, uh, you could buy an extra hank and you'll have some left over. Or if you um, think you will be okay with not having that extra 12 yards, then you can give it a shot that way as well. So choose uh, which one you want. You buy three or more hanks of Pop Cycle now through Sunday, which is June the 4th. And we're gonna give you the um, urchin pattern as a gift. So we'll go on to Ravelry and purchase that for you. If you tell us your Ravelry name, we'll get it into your library. If you don't have Ravelry or you don't use it, then uh, we will send it to the email address that you provide when you check out. So uh, what else can I tell you? Pop cycle, 305 yards and 100 gram hank. And uh, that is the thing that's going on. It is a wonderful little project. Um, that will be um, a fun adventure for these warmer days that are coming up. And then when it's done, you can wear it. Second thing that's going on. So um, Pop Cycle is a yarn that you'll want to wind by hand. So you can put it on a Swift or around the back of a chair and you'll wind it by hand. And you could do that on one of these really awesome gadgets. This is called a Yarn Keeper. Yarn Keepers um, have two parts. There's a bracelet part and then the sort of the V part and this V is where you put the yarn and um, it clips and unclips so you can wind the yarn onto this little guy and then clip this on and you can hang it from if you have a like a floor lamp or something or if you want to go for a walk you can um, just put this on your wrist and carry your yarn and knit and crochet or do whatever it is that you're doing and it is a lovely little tool like I said. If you're not sure how to wind yarn on it, we have a little video on the product page. It shows you two different options of how to wind the yarn. You start with a slip knot and you'll put it onto here and just wind, wind, wind away. And then 
you have it ready to go for your project. So check those out, the Yarn Keeper bracelet, if you're interested in that. And then we have, um, not that you need them for this project, but they're cute. And sometimes I can just show you cute things, right? These are um, these little cable stitch holders. They come in two different colors. Here is the silver one. There's a silver one and then there's sort of a gold. It's not gold, it's brass, I guess. Um, I'll show you that one as well. But they are really cute. They're perfect for um, cable netting. If you want, you can slip stitches onto it or if you just want to hold stitches, you can get them on here and they will sit and park very nicely. Also a really cool shawl pin. So if you have a shawl and you want something to sort of hold it in place, you can spiral this around onto the shawl and it will hold it in place, like I said. So there are two different colors and choose your favorite and get those while we have them in stock. Other things in today's newsletter, looking at my notes here, <clears throat> lemon spritz. So this is the 40 knit along by Olive Knits by Marie Green of Olive Knits, who encourages us all to accept this personal challenge of, of trying to knit a sweater in four days. So we have our sample. Our piece was made using Riley. This is what the four day sweater looks like. It's got a really beautiful little lace detail um, at the waist. And then these really fun little lemon leaf ties, which super cute. It is a seamless sweater. It is designed to be a relaxing project with a bit of interest in the uh, crafting of it. As always, that's what Marie is known for. And uh, when you buy your Riley, there's a minimum number, you know, you got to buy the yarn to at least make that smallest size. But when you buy Riley now uh, for the next couple weeks until we run out of these kits, we have a bonus pack, which we are happy to send along to you. So it has the really great lemony zippered project bag. It's got some stitch markers, some candy, some stickers, and of course the pattern. So um, you make your choices, make your notes, make your choices known <laughs> when you're adding the yarn to your cart. And then we will um, process and get that goodie bag added to your order um, when we process and ship it out. The last thing I'm going to mention Today is uh, Maker's Night is coming up. It's one week from today. That is going to be June the 6th, and we are going to be hanging out with Emery, who is uh, from Earth Yarns, based in Turkey. And Emery's going to hang out with us and talk to us about uh, the company's philosophy, um, all the good stuff they do in Turkey and around the world to empower women and help the environment. There's so much good stuff going on with this company. So I hope you get to join us. Again, that's gonna be next Tuesday. It's five to 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, these uh, Maker's Nights are not recorded, so I encourage you to come hang out with us. It would be fun to have you there to ask questions of a yarn owner, yarn company owner. So that's it for this wonderful return to the work week for us. Hopefully you took time over the weekend to uh, remember those who gave their lives for us. Um, Memorial Day is a really special holiday. Uh, we have a short week of fun here. So Tuesday newsletter, got this out of the way. We are planning our newsletter for Friday and that's gonna be coming up in just a few days. So um, thank you for my, so much for watching. I'm rambling. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I will see you on Friday. Thanks for watching.